Today I'm foraging some Japanese knotweed. Japanese knotweed is a highly invasive plant that has been naturalised in many parts of Europe. When used to dye yarn, it's said that knotweed gives the dye a lovely yellow colour. And if you add some iron sulphate, the dye turns green. Green is a difficult colour to get when dyeing with plants, so I really want to try this. When foraging Japanese knotweed, spring is the best time. The plant sprouts should be around 30 centimetres tall, with just a couple of leaves. An anemone cup fungi. They grow on the rhizomes of wood anemones. You can find wood anemones all over the forest here in April and May. I've chosen a simple method to prepare my knotweed dye. I will chop up the weeds, boil them for an hour, remove them from the heat and add some mordant and then finally the yarn. Before adding the yarn to the dye, I soak the yarn in some cold salted water for 30 minutes. The next morning, I removed half of my yarn and added a teaspoon of iron sulphate. After 15 minutes, the dye had turned a bluish green and my remaining yarn changed colour. I now have a bluish green batch of knotweed yarn and a yellowy green batch. 